Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I got a treat in the mail, uh, actually from UPS. It is uh, Mark Walker's 65 Squad Level Combat in the Jungles of Vietnam. This is a obviously a Vietnam uh, war game. It's going to use the same system, though, that comes with Night of Man. Uh, a lot of similarities it shares with that. I'm sure there's some special rules for terrain and things like that, but uh, we're going to take a look at what's inside of this right now. Very excited. I mean, it was a lot of fun, especially with the solo uh, solo system, which I do have um, included. It came with it, so very much looking forward to this one. Uh, so the uh, humans battling aliens is not your thing. Uh, now you can have human Americans battling human Vietnamese in a historical setting. So. Uh, I'm sure it's got the same good quality design, art design of uh, Night of Man. We're going to have the nice large counters, I hope, when I've heard it does. Uh, one thing that's interesting is, um, not interesting, but I'll probably have to build another insert for this box to hold all the counters neatly, because obviously a MT tray is not going to work. You can tell from the beginning here, it's kind of thematic. Got, uh, got a deck of cards. Not sure what that is. This is bonus victory condition. I like the style here. Makes it look like a, a uh, governmental document from that era. Nice. Nice theme. So we got here, it says bonus victory condition. Okay, those are just some special cards here. Uh, we need more weapons, or the Major wants good stuff to show the newsies. Eliminate one opposing machine gun team. So it's just a fair, I guess, some alternate conditions here. So it's a card-driven game. Um, all your actions take place from your cards, just like uh, Night of Man did. So you got all these different cards. Uh, and you got a couple of different actions you can choose from. The combat is resolved, uh, ranged combat, and uh, or uh, uh, artillery combat, me me mechanized combat, and uh, squad combat, and close combat are resolved via the cards that you draw. So you normally have the deck. You'll have hand of cards for your actions, but then you'll also use the same cards, you flip cards, to, uh, to uh, roll dice. Essentially, there's no dice in this. All right, so this is the rule book. It appears to be. It is, yeah, it's not a man, old school tactical. All great, great games. Uh, so it's got 28 pages, probably 32 pages, because one starts here on page four. So um, this is, as noted, uh, designed by Mark Walker. The artwork is by Mark Walker, Mark Von Marshall, and Quan Chai Moria. So there you go. Very nice. Large print. Very good. Looks like they got away. This is a big plus. They got away from the uh, background on the uh, on the uh, rule book. So they used to have, they they had had before a, like a dark watermarked background, which was very cool and thematic, but it made reading the text harder. So this is a lot nicer, full color with examples. Now one complaint I had seen, and this was true about Night of Man as well, is there's a lot of stuff you have to keep looking back up in the in the rules that would have been nice if this, instead of being an ad, had been a uh, reference sheet. So we'll see if there's a reference sheet in there. But that's one thing I usually try to avoid reading about uh, what's in it uh, before I do my own unboxing. But it appears that that is one complaint that has been made uh, about it. So anyway, good looking rule book. Three, two pages, large print. Uh, looks good. Should be, uh, Not a Man was pretty easy to understand, so. Good rules. Let's see, we have a terrain chart. Two terrain charts, one for each player. Um, range modifiers, range combat charts, uh, high explosive range modifiers, so it's a fourth one. They're duplicate, good cardstock, nice glossy quality there. 
And then, as usual, the nice large counters. I believe these are inch and a quarter. Uh, they pop out very easily. As you can see, that one's already popped out in shipping. So there is that. We've got Hueys, gun trucks, ACAVs, M48s, 113s, lots of different, lots of different uh, units. Nice and large. Pop out really easy, pre-rounded. I mean, man, you can just get this thing out and start playing pretty quick. Good quality. Now, this. Yay, raw. Let me tell you what I mean here. In Night of Man, they made all the counters the same size as this, with a few exceptions for a few of the solo markers and things like that. But uh, so if you had fired, if you were ops complete, if you had moved, uh, I believe moves on the back of the fired counter. Yeah, moved is on the back of the fired counter there. You had this, and then you had a huge counter the same size, and you had the stack you're moving around, you can't see what's there and everything. And that caused me to resort to um, using cubes to indicate the same thing. I fortunately have bought a whole, a whole bunch of cubes that are all colors, and so I could use uh, I could use the green for moved, all right, and I could use the blue for I forget what the blue was for. Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, I had colors to match everything. So don't think I'm gonna have to do that now because these are a good size, which is awesome. I don't know who else complained about that, but that is excellent. Now the counters are big. These are about the size of the squares. They're gonna be on the board probably. And these you can at least still read and stack them a lot better. Well done, Flying Pig, for fixing that one. All right, so you got so we got one sheet of the big counters, the unit counters. We got some markers. Got another sheet of markers, and we actually have some smaller units here. Uh, individuals seem to be smaller. Rifle squads, rifle squads. Looks like the vehicles are larger, and the other ones are smaller. So that may be interesting too, because in the the uh, the um, Squares, because it's a square, it's not a hex, won't be as crowded. So that's cool. Yeah, here we go. So we've got the uh, Vietnamese and we got the Americans. And I'll tell you what, I'm about to correct myself here because I just noticed these are great. These are beautiful. The artwork is really nice. But as I lifted this up, this apparently is hex based instead of grid you got the geomorphic boards beautiful map beautiful artwork really um they've got the hexes they got the map number here so we got one and then you've actually got the hexes numbered whereas the other one was a grid not a man was a grid and you had to just kind of like a chessboard you had to go like a through g and you know one through eight or whatever and this is a hex-based game. Awesome. Wish Night of Man had been hex-based, really. I'm not really big on grids. One map. Beautiful. Map number two. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of jungle. A lot of variation. Roads, huts, so on and so forth. And then, like I said, it's geomorphic, so the maps can connect together to form your mission parameters. So it looks like we have three boards. That's one through three here. Very nice. Very, very good. Got a leak. All right, so that is what you're going to get in the base game of 65, squad level combat in the jungles of Vietnam. You got three very nicely mounted geomorphic boards. We've got... I really like the size reduction on the counters. The big ones are really cool. And I like that they're still doing big ones for the vehicles, but I like the smaller ones for not only the markers, but for the uh, for the units. Now, of course, you're gonna have the problem with the units. That when he's fired, now you've covered him 
complete with the fired marker. I usually try to set them sideways, but I may still use the, I still may use the cubes there. But it's not quite as bad as having these big, big stacks of, of markers. So that's one, two, three, four sheets of some very nice artwork to counters. Large, easy to manage. Two glossy cardstock reference sheets, a rule book, and a deck of cards, including some bonus victory condition cards. So we'll read more about that in the rules. That is what you're going to get in the base game of 65 squad level combat in the jungles of Vietnam. Mark Walker and Flying Pig Games. Thanks for watching.